Remember when women were treated fairly and equally to men? Me either. On January 22nd, 1908, in New York City, Katie Mulcahy lit a cigarette, was quickly arrested, thrown in jail, and fined five dollars, becoming the first and only victim of the Sullivan Ordinance. What the fuck is that? City Alderman Timothy Little Tim Sullivan got it in his small ass brain that women who smoked were immoral. She is so immoral. Unseemly. She is so unseemly. Dangerously sexual. Madame, you're smoking. It arouses me, and for that, I am terrified. I'm trying to figure out the problem there, and I can't seem to find it. And downright sinful. Those harlots. So what does he do? He proposes a bill making it illegal for women to smoke in public places. Meanwhile, men were allowed to smoke from there to here, from here to there, and everywhere. Thus, you know, controlling women and what they do with their bodies. Glad to see things have changed. And what do you know, the bill passed on January 21st, 1908. Blink if you're surprised. To be fair, a lot of people in New York City felt the law was dumb as all hell. Many restaurants didn't even enforce it. Probably because the shit only lasted two weeks before the mayor vetoed it, making the Sullivan Ordinance a tiny blip in the annals of history. <laughs> LOL, men. Class dismissed.